thing is, when you're tired, you can't just snap out of it. It doesn't work like that. Oh, he thought that was in. He was walking after it. It's very unlucky, isn't he, to leave it? It's the kind of shot with the cue coming down that bottom left corner. It's very hard to see a way that this could happen. Well, oh, that's absolutely perfect if he wants to go into the bunch. He really couldn't have put the ball better with his hand. If he hits the pink full on here, the red should go everywhere. Well, they have gone everywhere, but none Six. of them are easy to pot. Seven. <laughs> it's one of those shots where even someone as good as O'Sullivan could have no idea where the balls would finish. And this next shot, if he plays a bold colour, is tough. He might be able to lay it behind the blue, but I don't think he's thinking along those lines. If this goes in, he's back in amongst them. Oh, what a great shot. Made to look simple. Yeah, and he's made his mind to attack. If he is Ten. feeling tired, which he seems to be, then he doesn't want to get dragged into scrappy frames and long exchanges. He wants to keep the game moving. That is going to mean taking some on that are going to be tough, but as you say, he's making those sort of shots look easy. So it could be in this sort of situation with the balls open, he'll feel fine. It's just when frames get a bit fragmented that you might see the tiredness set in. Yeah, I mean, it can only be tiredness because like we're seeing, even... In amongst, you know, one or two signs that he's weary, his game, as we know, is fully there. And the interesting point I thought he made about that was he spoke about laying the foundations to all of this, which started way before his good run in winning in Barnsley when it all started, 18. playing during the summer, building a, a game that was going to take him right through until Christmas by practising all the shots he needed to practise, all the hours, and since then, it's all been all about matches. And sometimes when you play match after match, it's a little difficult to, to work on your game. But I suppose if you've done the work in the first place, that helps. Yeah, and I think also he mentally committed himself. He said, right, I'm going to play this block of snooker, these three months solid. And he prepared himself for that. As you say, not just his game, but also in his mind. And we've seen the 25. two in concert to great effect. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. I think some players are a little more ad hoc. They'll. I think I'll play this tournament, I won't play that tournament, but O'Sullivan, as I say, just committed himself. These three months, it's going to be snooker, snooker, snooker. And so far, it's been title, 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 three of them. Thirty-six. 37. Uh, still, the colours are not easy to get on. Obviously, the pink on the blue spot is all he's got right now. And, of course, the bulk colours. And he's still needing to do a little bit more work. I guess 44. Lee Hanger's got to worry about the black being safe and the blue being safe more than Ronnie because he's a few behind.
47. Forty-eight. Fifty-four. Oh, Seventy-five on, but depending on when Ronnie misses, as to whether that will be possible for Lee. That's a good shot. He's potted it and finished just top side. And again, pink will go back on the blue spot. The red still occupying the spot. Not really plain sailing this break, but very well constructed, given that 61. his cube has never really been in supreme control. I have to say, Lee Hang was very 62. unlucky to stick the opening red. Play that shot 50 times. He wouldn't stick it very many. Pretty devastating in amongst the balls right now. 68. 69. So we've seen a, a decent level of form from both players, actually, in the three frames. Let's never take Ronnie O'Sullivan for granted, though, as a player, because what we watch 75. day in, day out is quite breathtaking snooker. 76. You won't be playing this game forever, but you do well to see anyone 76. who plays oh, better snooker and more of a delight to watch. He's the kind of guy that will have people in the, the practice from watching the screen, other players, watching how he does it. 82. Trying to bring this red out, which he's done. He said on commentary 82. last night, he was in the box, that the thousand centuries does motivate him. He's on 919 for his career at the moment. 82. Oh, hasn't finished well. He was going to make 920. 89. Didn't matter. Yes, and the key to this is that he won't actually require the blue for the century. Even that shot, look how well he's played that. 94. I have to say, as centuries go, this is as good as any. He's not taken the black once in this break. For many periods of it, long periods, the pink on the blue slot was the only big scoring colour. And it seems not very long ago we celebrated his 900th, and as you say, this is 920. It's all come very quickly, isn't it? Well, he looks half asleep <laughs> between frames, but he's joined the Wide Away Club to make a dashing century. Break ends at 103, took just over eight minutes to compile. And a little smile there from Lee Hang. He's seen something very special there. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads here in Glasgow by two frames to one.